Now developing a first look at body camera footage and the shooting death of Roderick Brooks. A Harris County Sheriff's Office deputy killed Brooks earlier this month following a brief chase and struggle. Adam Bennett has been going through the footage released by the Sheriff's Office this afternoon. Adam Brooks' family was able to see some of that footage privately beforehand. That's right, Mia. And just a disclaimer for our viewers, this video is really tough to watch. Sheriff's officials say they are not drawing conclusions until their investigation wraps up. But Brooks's family does not believe his killing was justified, and their lawyer says a lawsuit is coming. Yes, yes, we are. This morning at a church in Southeast Houston, Friends and family said goodbye to Roderick Brooks. There's no words to give a call and that he went this way. We, mm -hmm. we don't expect to get it like this. It's my friend's best friend and I'm gonna miss him. Hours later, the body camera footage discussed during the eulogy Justice, Justice for Roderick Brooks was publicly released by the Harris County Sheriff's Office. CM35, he's running. Officials there say the incident started with a 911 call just after 6 the afternoon of July 8th. An employee at a Dollar General on FM 1960 said she tried to stop a man stealing from the store. A uh, customer is uh, running out the store and he hit me on the way out. 15 minutes later, officials say a patrol sergeant spotted a man matching the suspect description. Come here, dude. Come here. The sergeant runs after him. We're pausing the video at the moment of the shooting and blurring graphic video. Stop, dude, I'm gonna tase you, stop. Get on the ground, get on the ground right now. Why are you tasing me, ho? Get on me, man. Quick. I'm gonna shoot you, put that down. I will shoot you. Oh, you got me, bro. 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 You Sheriff's officials say the sergeant lost possession of his taser and Brooks grabbed it. But the man's family and supporters see it differently. What you'll see is Roger reaching for the taser. However, he's reaching to get it out the way. He's reaching so that it would not be used again after him. His last words were, why did you tase me? The sergeant involved in this incident is on administrative leave right now, pending the outcome of the investigation. Both the sheriff's office and the district attorney's office are investigating. And a spokesperson for the DA's office tells me that this case will be presented to a grand jury.